first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net it'll be in the description below and then what you want to do is you want to go to get it now download now and then free download now I already have paint on that so uh, I don't really need to install it again okay and then in the description below there's also going to be a, a link to a bunch of paint on net plugins that you need to install so yeah and then there's also going to be like a video on how to install paint on net plugins so I suggest that you watch that so once you've got paint on net installed and all the plugins go to file new and then make the width 1280 and then make the height 720 this is the uh, size of a YouTube thumbnail and then after that what you want to do is you want to go over here to layers uh, you want to add a new layer and then go to the layer with like the white background and just uh, click delete layer or this X right, right here ah, okay. and then after that um, you want to get like a, the, a screenshot of your video or like just a, a screenshot of you in Minecraft holding something that's what I would recommend so I have this uh, screenshot of like this Bed Wars game I had I, I was playing so I just took a screenshot in like Minecraft itself so if you want to like open up a screenshot just go to file open and then select the image and then you should be like uh, in another window right here so uh, what you want to do is you want to press Control C and then go back to the layer with the checkerboards and then uh, make sure the layer 2 is selected and then press Control V and then uh, click keep canvas size if it's like too big uh, you can zoom out by holding Control and then using your scroll wheel and then uh, what you want to do is you want to hold shift on your keyboard and then uh, left click on the corner and just drag it so that it fits but make sure you don't see any checkerboards so you can have to resize it a bit or like mess it play around uh, okay this seems fine and then once you're done positioning it uh, just go up here and then click deselect and then after this no after that oops um, you want to add a new layer like this and then uh, go to this uh, line tool right here and like the uh, tools and then uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure your primary color is white and then make sure the breath brush width is somewhere between 5 and 10 depends how thick you want it um, so then yeah make sure uh, this this uh, ch uh, layer with the checkerboard is selected and then just left click and drag uh, this is too thin for me. I'm just gonna make it something like 10 or yeah, I'm gonna make it 10 and then just start anywhere I'm just gonna start at the bottom and then left click and then drag so that you so that it outlines the sword and then just keep doing this Alright, so I'm done. Um, like I said, make sure like the little like the line you just the lines you so make sure the outlines uh, you made are in a separate layer from the background so that you can just do this. You can only see like the white lines if you uh, deselect the layer. So after that, um, you can also outline like other things. You can outline like the uh, like the little islands right here. Uh, I'm not going to do that because um, I'm, I'm trying to keep this video short. But uh, you can also outline the bed. Uh, so yeah, after that, uh, you want to do the text. So then add a new layer again. Uh, go to add new layer and then go to the text tool right here it's the T and then look for a font uh, so I'm just gonna use something like this MF Plexius italic and then make sure the font is big enough so that you can see it and then I'm just gonna write bed wars uh, I'm gonna change the font again alright I'm just gonna use gang of three and then I'm gonna make the font a little bit bigger like this um, so yeah, and then what you want to do after is want to go to the, your magic wand tool 
and then uh, select a color you want to use. I'm just going to use something like blue or turquoise, or whatever. And then I'm going to copy the hex and then press control C or just right click and then copy. And then uh, click swap colors and then go to the hex again and then just paste it into this hex and then uh, change the V in HSV. Like just make it a bit darker. And then uh, once you're done, just swap the colors so that the lighter color is the primary color and then just click less and then uh hold shift and left click on the on like any part of the text and it should select everything and then after that go to the gradient tool and then go to the top of the text hold down left click and just drag down like that all the way to the bottom of the text uh and then uh once you're done just deselect it uh, go to effects, photo, and then glow, and then uh, bring down the brightness a bit, like that, and then go to effects, object, and then drop shadow. Uh, I suggest bringing down the blur radius like this, and then make sure the shadow color is black, and then uh, bring up the widening radius a bit. I'm going to do something like this actually. Uh, click OK. And then go to effects, object, and then uh, drop shadow again. But this time make the shadow color white. And you should get this effect. I think it just makes the text look a bit better. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it whiter like this. And then click OK. And then uh, use the move tool right here. And then just move it around or you can rotate it like that and then deselect it and then if you want to center it like perfectly in the middle middle uh go to effects object align and then center horizontally like that so now we're going to do the border so add a new layer and then um in the description below there's going to be a uh, download there's going to be a link to a download of this border that i'm using so uh, it's just going to be black but uh my version is going to be black but it should be white so then what you want to do is you want to open up the border and then press ctrl c go back here add a new layer like that and then press ctrl v i'm just going to make this uh white and then uh what you want to do is you want to go to layers and then layer properties and then change the blending mode to overlay like this and then click ok and then hold shift and then just left click on the border and then go to effects uh no uh select the background and then go to effects uh blurs and then gaussian blur and then uh i'm gonna bring this up a bit and then click ok and then uh deselect it and it should look like this oh crap did i just get rid of the text so uh, I guess this is it. Uh, if you want to save it, go to File, Save As, and then save it anywhere on your desktop. Uh, I'm gonna save. It. I'm gonna save it in my pictures, and then name it whatever you want. What I make sure you save as a PNG. Just go to Save As Type, and then go to PNG, and then just uh, type in the name uh, Dead Wars Thumbnail. Save. Click OK flatten and then it should become all uh, one layer and you're done pretty much so thank you guys for watching um leave a like on this video if you want more tutorials uh that's all i have to say so thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time peace out